Hello YouTube. <coughs> well, this right here is disturbing information. It really is. Really, really is. We're going to listen to this. And I want you to listen to it good, okay? Because this is highly unusual. But just to bring me back into the picture here, we're going to play this too. Now, the first thing is a small piece of one of the planes that was used on 9-11. Uh, being found wedged in a narrow alleyway not far from ground zero. Now, at first it was reported to be part of the landing gear from one of those planes. We learned it actually came from under one of the wings. So that was thing number one. Just a couple of days later, thing number two. Republicans on the House Oversight Committee held a joint hearing on the amount of ammunition the Department of Homeland Security has on hand. See, because if the federal government has more bullets than the general population, how are we going to defend ourselves in the fight against the government? Can't let the government get the upper hand in the weapons race, right? Next thing you know, they'll have like a standing army and bombs that can take out whole cities and stuff. So yes, Republicans in the House and the Senate followed up the ammo thing with an actual bill, an actual piece of legislation that's supposed to prevent the government from buying too many bullets. Yes, this is the same federal government that already stockpiles, say, Abrams tanks and armed drones and giant intercontinental missiles that can carry nuclear weapons. All that, yes, but it's an excess of bullets that congressional Republicans have decided is the really worrying firepower. That worry was so crazy, so out there, that even the <laughs> National Rifle Association wouldn't touch it with a 10-foot rifle. And yes, the, the conspiracy theory about the government having too many bullets is nuts. But it's not out of nowhere. That conspiracy theory comes from the mother of all conspiracy theories that, can, that seduce Republicans. It's an internet talk show called InfoWars. Yes, this is the same guy who has been selling the idea that the massacre at Sandy Hook Elementary School and the massacre at Aurora, Colorado were actually fake. They were faked as an excuse to take away our guns and enslave us to the giant wasps who hide beneath the... Wow, it wasn't? It wasn't a hoax. Oh man, I've been confused all this time. I really have. Lord, how mercy! I've been confused. I I, I really have been confused. I, I just I, I just don't get it, folks. How many of you out there really think that Sandy Hoax Hook was a hoax? Well, let's see. You know, the powers that be like this woman pushing her propaganda down your throat. Yeah, you heard me. Her propaganda. Again, pushing her propaganda. Why is it <clears throat> that people want to push propaganda? Hmm. When our country is in such dire needs, I just don't get it. It's the same guy who says the Boston bombing was also fake. It was faked for political purposes. The same guy who says he doesn't believe the Columbia Space Shuttle disaster actually happened. He doesn't believe there was actually an Oklahoma City bombing. Naturally, of course, he also knows and sells the idea that 9-11 was an inside job. So that landing gear, that must be faked too. The conspiracy continues. In every tragedy, the InfoWars Alex Jones world thinks they see a conspiracy. Monday's devastating, record-breaking tornado in Moore, Oklahoma, killed two dozen people and flattened a community. Just devastating. Devastating, right? But now, I am not kidding, these same conspiracy theory folks are peddling the idea that the tornado was a conspiracy as well. Seriously, the tornado was a conspiracy. And, you know, tornadoes are way down. Uh, of course, they of course they lie and say they're way up to try to get carbon taxes, uh, but uh, I don't know if this was a weather weapon or not. But they can, with the right weather uh, conditions, they can create and steer uh, groups of tornadoes. If people 50 miles out as these storm systems, and they see aircraft in and around the clouds spraying and doing things, if you saw that, you better bet your bottom dollar they did this. 
Uh, but who knows if they did? You know, that's the thing. Who knows if the U.S. government uses a secret made-up weather weapon that only exists in the mind of, yeah. I mean, that's the thing, right? Here's the other thing. Alex Jones should be disqualified from participating in Republican Party politics. His crackpot theories shouldn't prompt actual hearings in Congress, and they shouldn't inspire actual legislation in Congress, and you shouldn't do a money bomb on his show when you are running for Congress. Do not fundraise on this theater of the absurd by showing yourself to be one with this guy, really. He says the tornado was a conspiracy. The tornado. Can we agree that it's over now? Republicans going on a show? Really? Can we can we agree? Please? No, we can't agree on that at all. Not 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 even a little. Not even a little bit can we go with that. Not at all. A secret government weapon that can control the weather? Really? Is it secret? How stupid are you, lady? How stupid can you be? Really? I mean, hmm. Let's see. I think you're confused. I really do. Let's see. Now, let's see here. May 18th at 12.20 p.m. There is what we would call a skater square. Right there. Right in your face. Right there. Documented proof. I'm not going to go into real details because you're so dumb. And then down here on May 20th, 24 to 48 hours later, we have severe weather outbreak. And then look at here. You see the storm. Now is it for real? You know, we've only got a hundred and let's see, 120 I think. Actual, actual, not a lie, actual documented proof. Not to say it's a hundred percent, but to say at a percentage, I would say at least 80% of the time that you see these anomalies within 24 to 48 hours from the center is a very bad storm. So now, hmm, and then you want to talk that craziness to everybody like you just did? Really? Really? Come on! Really? You're kidding, right? I know you're kidding. Because you can't be that... That smart. You're not that smart. Really, you're not. Because if you were smart, you wouldn't have said that. At all. But I guess you're... Beyond that. You're just one of those people, right? That can do everything. That hold up your hands and do this. And, 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 and oh, 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 it is. Or maybe, maybe that. Maybe that. Uh, maybe, I don't know. I, I just don't get it. What about happening to this? No, it's out of your vocabulary. But yet you're going to get on there. Why didn't you say something about the UK beheading? You scared of that one? Because it was so hoaxy to start with? Yeah, that's what it is. So, the what you're saying in your little comment that you made, that the American... The American people are crazy to think that the propaganda that y'all putting out on the airways is okay. Hmm. Really? I just don't see it. I really don't. I really don't see it. 
folks, I hope y'all see this video. And I hope I can put it up. And I hope I can keep it up. Because, my God. I have never in my whole life, ever, ever, seen someone get on national TV and call somebody a hoax. And that's not that I'm defending Alex Jones at all. Not one bit. Because see, what Alex said there wasn't just him that said it. See, it was this right here that says it. This is the proof. Dead proof. Caught in action. Right here. The 18th, 11.20 p.m. May 20th, 2 to 4 p.m. 24 to 48 hours. And then you want to talk shit? Really? About a secret weapon? Really? You want to call it a secret weapon? Really? <laughs> Lord have mercy. If you're not fighting a troll, you're fighting mainstream media. And damn, you know, I'm starting to believe that the mainstream media is the trolls. Your comments in the bottom, folks. Much love. Y'all have a good day.